timeline. Gross bugs, pointy boys, angry pointy boys. Well, I guess they're all a little angry. That's been your lesson of the day. I would like to go up the ladder. Can I please do this? I, w I would give anything to go on this roof. Let me get on the roof. I want to get into trouble on the roof. Ugh, hate it here. Explore, but only in the way that I want you to. Is he dead? A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't- It's a long, hard journey. I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Haunted TVs. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regret. Who are you? Oh, I'm in a conversation better, now. I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about- Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. She's a real one for that. Edward, a pretty nice fellow. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emile Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. What? My clinic is oh, that's place the doctor. Oh, oh, Alan. Get easy. Is that Barry? Nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your ass. I'm excited to no hear that, Max. Done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. I like a game where I do stuff, about? but I'm not always doing you stuff. Need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. Oh, he's got Gore-Tex? Me too. Oh my God, packing my packable to to down someone. sweater today was a everything. fucking workout. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed I was that I had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kid. Literally, Seth Rogen, you're right. Peak. He should have shut up. National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake. Barry, you found him. Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony. Barry is clout again, utilizing to be friends with Rose. Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. Timeline. Gross bugs. Pointy boys. Angry pointy boys. Well, I guess they're all a little angry. That's been your lesson of the day. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car- Wow! Just listen to yourself. What, you Cougar. shot a guy? And his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a Asking week. all the questions. Got Alice. Do you and everything's understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. Who and where is Rusty? Am I high? Oh, uh, Rusty. Easy there, boy. Mm -hmm. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty. Is right? that Toby? You're at Cabot's. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. Toby? What happened? Crazy poachers. 
Max here got his foot caught in a Was that the dog's name Toby or was the dog's name Max the whole time and I'm I don't know where I got Toby from. The way I was so confidently saying Toby, Toby was the dog. Then who's this dog? I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Why'd you put it right next to the dog? Mr. Wake. Glad to have you stay here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Nice spot. Let's go, nerd. Believe that you shot a dude who went, We're out of here. Till I try every door first. Okay, now we're out of here. Yeah, shut up. <coughs> That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the show. Nero, you're so right. He absolutely has the energy of that guy. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. Why did you knock over the lamp? That's so dramatic for no reason. Come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. <coughs> Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Achoo! So the fact that I can do that means that there's going to be big, scary weirdos. So I'm supposed to go to a trail. Are there any guns anywhere? Barry had never gotten along with Alice, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. And here was Al armed with a gun. I don't see that as things positive. People got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done. True. I was still angry with Barry. True. Talked me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them. Yeah, Barry's kind of rude. Alice. Oh, I do have a gun. Cool. I was like, cool, I'm just gonna walk out into the darkness with a flashlight. <gasps> oh my God, what the fuck? Don't. No! 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 Absolutely not! There was something in the garbage can. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his room. Oh, there's a scary outside of here! He's like over here now. He's waiting for me to come out. Maybe I should change my career and rent out cabins in the woods. I'm sure nothing scary will happen. Hey, there's for real a dude out here. Where did he go? There was a dude. There was a whole dude. I know there's a dude. Oh, sick. I should definitely stand on this then. Uh, there was a dude outside the window. Where did that guy go? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Get out. Blood? Is there a light switch? No. Why did I come in here? Oh, a scary TV. Oh, nice. Another horrifying TV show. Punishment. The cancer and cure of civilization. But some crimes are impossible to punish. Especially in Night Springs. <laughs> Tonight's episode, The Man in the Mirror. He's inside, Agent. He's a weird one. So, you're confessing to killing that guy, huh? Why? And it coming? Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took a kid to a soccer game. So how come at the game, you pick a guy and, quoting from the arresting officer's report here, <coughs> assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of... Ew. Bears. Wow, that sentence really flows, huh? Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess him up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. 
Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face. Well, you must have hated it, because you really went to town there. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him either. That must be difficult. But then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh. How about that? Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. The white shirt is on the dead guy. It's plenty red now. I won't get away with this. Do you really think that's in any way relevant to me? I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrived, you know? He won't stop screaming, am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? <laughs> I left my- Is something scary in here with me? You, you bastard. What? You gonna shoot me? What's the point? I'm going to prison. You got me. But I, I don't understand any of this. Same. And you never will. Dula Peep! Maybe in the mirror. Is it scary? The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Alex, something is in the astrology because my stomach is killing me today. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. Oh, biscuits. Is this the way? Rose knew that Rusty was in love with her, and she liked him too. She liked him a lot. He taught her to dance, and life had certainly taught her the value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well. Made her smile. Salome. Feel good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams, and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood magic than he was. Rose, that's life, baby girl. Rusty is the guy who was fixing up the dog who rented us, who gave us the keys. He's like the park rangery guy. And I love him a lot. Oh, fuck. Why? The vision left me weak. This was no head injury. A bitch! Rusty. Rusty. I'm coming! Please help me! What the fuck? Okay, Alan can't run for shit. Please work on your cardio! Oh fuck. I'm back here. Hey, oh fuck. Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh hell. It happened just the way it was on that page. I found. Yeah, feel free to DM it to me. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must. The lights in the office. I have the key. Okay, you right. keep that dog safe. I'll be right back. Okay, what's my task? Whoever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had oh. happened. I'm supposed to take keys? To where? To where do I take the keys? I paid half attention. Yeah, that's Rusty. He's not having a good time. Oh, the office. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. You can use a key quicker than that. Great. A piece of paper to distract me from my important job. At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Oh!
Yoink. That was too late. Bitch. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. No! No, 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 no. Ew. Like liquid darkness. Ew. Oh, fuck. That one throws shit. That dog better be okay. I'll freak the fuck out. Something had torn a mammoth sized hole in the wall. Did the dog run away? Oh no. Oh no. Fishing is only permitted for those. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. The park ranger's instructions. At all times. He's very fast. What the fuck, Alan? Have to fucking go to Lover's Peak uh, with all of this happening. Ew, the darkness is over there. Oh, goddamn, bro! I don't want to. I don't want to go there. What? What the hell was that? I saw something. Barry. I saw it. I saw something. You're welcome, Max. I'm it, I'm doing my part. Me going crazy. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. Wish I had a big I fucking mean... piece of candy, but I don't. In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. Oh. Older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens. Oh! She made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. Well, fuck. That's depressing. Ooh, yay. I love how trusting I am of arrows and dots. I'm like, yeah, I'll be there. In this fucking cave. Ooh, a shotgun. Let's fucking go. Ooh, energizer. Lithium batteries. That's it? Okay, cool. Ew. Stop that. Stop making that noise. I don't want to run because Alan gets very tired. I need this man in fighting shape, not in panting shape. Do they explain how he knows how to use a gun so well? Nope! Oh, fuck, 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 no! Did I dodge that? Am I the greatest gamer of all time? Yeah, those, like, scary turnaround sights are not cool. Not cool. The classic little turnaround bright eyes moment. Hate it. What if I go this way? Maybe there's something nice over here. Something fun and cool. Nobody in Bright Falls seemed to know where Al was, but Rose, the waitress at the diner, had seen him. From what Barry could tell, 
Al pretty much fell off the face of the earth when he left the diner. Rose was just the kind of fan that Al hated. We're calling Al an really Al now? She was smart. Too. If you be my bodyguard, I can be a long lost pal. You can call me Betty. Betty, when you call me, you can call me Al. Alan Wake Rider. Do 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 do. You know? Cool, another decrepit ass truck. Great, it's getting scary looking, which means there's scary things about to happen. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Why? Stop that! Fuck those guys. Why did you just weirdly do that? Stop weirdly doing that. Woo! I turned the corner, afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, oh. a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, flares, ammo. Things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew. And more. <sighs> Why? This is not an easy walk. Rusty lied to me, honestly. A bloody shirt. Cool. I'm gonna fuck around over here for a second. As one does when they are... Alan Wake. Oh. I wish I had a goddamn fucking flare gun. That would be sexy. Guy Fietti, honey, now is not the time to be squirreling around. I want to shoot them. Ew. Oh, he's wearing a helmet. I'm going to die. Okay, bye. Guy Fietti. Guy Fietti. Guy Fietti. Do you need to go run around a little bit? Go drink some water if you need it, sweetie. I love you. Okay, I, when I get back in this, I'm fucking running. Okay, good dodge somehow. Okay, run, Alan Wake! Alan Wake, run challenge! Yeah, come over here, bitch. <sighs> so I don't have any ammo of any kind. I feel really good. I came from that direction. Maybe there's some shit for me over here. Pull a swinging piece of wood that bodes well. 1846. Tree felled by storm. Any ammo around here? Kind of a weird question, but I could fucking use it. Oh no. Bye! Alan, you gotta work on your cardio, sweetheart. Oh God. Rusty's like, oh my God, it's such an easy hike. You aren't even really hiking. I'm getting attacked by all these dickheads the whole way yeah Ooh, go run around over there weirdo he's gonna chase me though i bet how can i not get in here am i high oh i have to jump over this thing great alan is known for his cardiovascular endurance <sighs> agent nightingale didn't want to be in bright falls these little communities revolted him and he didn't like the trees or the coffee he knew that impossible horrors lurked behind. Hope you're having a good day, Hannah. Thanks for stopping by. He desperately wanted to turn the car around and just drive until he passed out or ran out of road and booze. But he had a job to do. He had a rider to catch at any cost. Me? Am I the rider at any cost, Alan Wake? I'm so glad I don't have any ammo. Hopefully there's ammo over there. That's what I'm hoping, Max, because I'm like, did I fuck up? Am I bad at video games on easy? <laughs> 
use. Good oh boy. Oh, he's licking his paws. Did I tell you all about the guy chain of needs that I made? Shit. Where it's like, if guy is crying, here's what he probably needs. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. Ew, ew. Ooh, is it good mods? Alan, get up. Oh no. <sighs> Alan. Come on, we gotta get moving. Who's Four that? That flashlight's kid stuff. Oh, you wanna get the under the blanket? The bastards away. There you go. Oh boy.